back and we are going to continue to paint um, our rabbit and uh, let's see what we need to do here take a well we're gonna get some hair in here we're going to finish our basket here so <clears throat> we're almost finished I just didn't want to put all this in part one because I figured it would be a little hard to do so I'm gonna get my rake brush right now and I'm gonna wet it I'm going to go into my white and a little bit of my, oh, it looks like some of my paints are dried out from, um, I'm going to go into my raw sienna, just a tad of raw sienna. I don't want to use too much of it. Gonna bring it back into my white here I just want to get sort of like a highlight on his little ears um, so I think let's we'll see how this is here we've got to get this pretty wet in order for it to uh, actually make some little hairs that come down so we're just gonna get some hairs that come down this way just want to get some light here. And um, in through here, while well, we've got that kind of covered. So let's see where else we can put some hair. Definitely up in through here needs some. Um, around this edge here. Oops. Okay, let's get some more water pick up some more of that around this edge because this is like in the highlight area Ooh. little too much here little too much let me get that wiped off um, <clears throat> some paper towel Let's just start that all over again. How's that? All right. I want to make sure that our bristles are far apart so that when we do the hair, it looks like hair here. And we might have to wait till that dries a little bit now because it's just not going to do what I want it to do. Um, I'm going to get some more of my green. I'm going to put my hooker's green out. And kind of just go over that section there a little bit. So I'm going to use my oops, my uh, bristle brush. Just tap it in here a little bit. and possibly a little bit of my burnt sienna as well just kind of get a little dark in through here too i want to kind of have a little darks and lights in areas we're going to put some grass in here also and some little flowers but just want to get some of this blended a little differently here okay very good rinse out my brush I don't want to leave it in my water. You don't want to leave your brushes in the water. Okay, let's see if we can get this to work now. Let's see. Just touching the edge here. A little bit. We've got some of this hair that comes down here as well. And I want to get some of that really nice brown that we have mixed here. Um, that would be some of my 
tight and buff with some of my burnt sienna. Just kind of warm it up a little bit. Get some of that in there too. Just warming up some of this area. And I believe I'm going to put some of my umber in also. Oops. My raw umber. Just kind of giving it a little bit of a texture. Mix that with my Titan Buff. Now the thing is, you don't have to put a lot of hairs in here. Uh, you're just kind of adding some for texture. Um, just trying to make it look like the bunny rabbit has some hair. And that's just kind of like what we're trying to indicate here. Just lightly giving it some hair. Sally, here she comes. Here she comes. Little Sally. There she goes. And it's very light. Now, um, in here, it should be a little bit more uh, distinctive. Um, that is kind of a bluish color, and I'm going to add it to my, it's uh, very pale blue, very pale. But I'd like to get that a little lighter if I can. So I'm going to add some white to my palette. Sort of like the grayish bluish shade, you know, that um, we're using here. So I'm going to add a little bit more white. Just want to get that indication there that there is more white in there. So I'm just kind of like brushing it, and it's more of a um, as you can see, it's more of a dry brush that I'm using. Kind of looking like it's hair. And in here also, I want that a little lighter. Oh, God bless you, Miss Sally. God bless you. We're going to add some white into that. That white blue, get some hair into his little whiskery areas here. Just lightly brush. As you can see, my bristles are very far apart, and that's what I want, because that makes that little bit of texture that we need. He's starting to look more, more and more like a little rabbit.
All right, I'm going to get my Titan Buff onto my brush, my um, rake brush. Just kind of get some hair that goes out this way. I'm just trying to follow. Just adding very lightly these little indications of light and dark. I'm going to put some right in here because it is a little bit more dark in through here. So I'm just going to add those brush strokes. Not even trying to uh, add more paint. I just want to get the brush strokes in here very dark in through here kind of just getting that little bit of hairy look our rabbit our little rabbit is a definite dark spot but there is also some light that goes on top of that so I'm going into my Titan buff just kind of like going one way and then another okay right in through here we got that dark happening so I'm going to get that dark in there using my umber blending it a little bit with my finger just an indication that that's like hair I don't think we want to add too much more of the hair. Um, gonna go back into my white here. I'm not rinsing out my brush, and I'm gonna put some of this that goes out this way. Just kind of following the way our little rabbit is working here. Okay. Now I'm going to get my, um, actually, you know what? I want to put some, uh, let me see. I'm going to get some Titan Buff here if I can. Just want to put a little bit of Titan Buff through here. Let me see here. I got to get my Titan Buff. Here we go. There's some areas that I would like to put a little bit of light uh, with my rake brush. So it blends a little bit better. I'm going to rinse that rake brush out a bit. And I'm going into my Titan Buff. Just straight Titan Buff. Might have a little bit of the brown. Just a tad in there. Kind of like want to get some of that in his little snout here. And maybe some that goes up and through here a bit. Just a tad. Just a tad. Just making little teeny strokes here. 
just that it looks like hair. All right, rinsing that out. Now I'm gonna look for my liner brush because I wanna do little uh, hairs on his face. Um, so let's see, where is my liner brush? Okay, here we go. Oh, this one might work here. It's a, it's a number one round. So I'm going to get some water and I'm going to put it into my white mixture with a little bit of the Titan Buff. I'm not sure if this is going to be light enough, but these uh, little hairs that come out of his snout here. They kind of go over that away too. They're pretty long. So I'm just holding my brush back and a little bit more Titan Buff to that mixture. And just, just creating little teeny strokes. This is kind of a perfect little brush because it has a little bit of um, stiffness so I can get those little hairs just the way I want them. These are coming out. See they're just oops well that's fine because sometimes they're just not all straight. Alright so I am going to use my cobalt blue. See that? Uh, there we go. And I am going to use my number six and see if that kind of helps a little bit. I need a brighter shade and I'm not getting it. Now let's see if this will work. And then we'll use some white. Okay, so I'm using some white. I want to get this a little bit better. Okay, um, also on my pink here. This has to be light. And right in here with that pink, I want that to be light too. Okay, now. This needs to be a little bit smoother. Just work it very lightly going back and forth there. Okay, so our top one should be a pale shade. Um, so let's see what we could do. I think if I mix some raw sienna and white, it's almost like in this picture, it's, it just has like a no, kind of no reflection whatsoever. It's reflecting some of the pink. And I think the color that I have in here is not too bad actually. Don't like this. I'm gonna get rid of that, I think. Okay, um, very bright on top. Very bright. You want that to blend just like here. You want this to blend. Now, uh, this is really dark in here, so I really want to try to get that depth. Um, going back into my umber. Just 
just kind of giving that depth. Okay. And I'm going to rinse out my brush, kind of come up and just blend it somewhat into my egg here. Okay. All right, that gave it a little bit. Now, um, I'm going into my red again and some white and having a reflection from my egg here. That red is pretty, pretty brilliant, so you want to get that in there. Same here. We're going to get back into that and just add that little bit. Okay, but, and it's not shining that much, so let's see if we can get that a little darker. But yet some white, sort of like a pinkish white. And uh, just kind of lightly tap it in there. All right. Blue, I'm using my brush. So that's that quinacrinone red. I don't want to lose my pink here. And it's just going, making that round, kind of, that shadow. Okay, <clears throat> now we want to get some of our uh, grass in. Maybe a few little white flowers around. So I'm going to start with my um, green, grass green, which is actually a Hobby Lobby shade. Start out with that, see if that's too bright, I'm not sure. Then I want to add a little bit of my yellow ochre. Just kind of tone it down a tad if I need to. We'll see how this goes. So we're just going to put some little sprigs up this way. We might have to wet that a little bit in order for it to show. Okay. Um, get a little bit of that brown in there too. A little bit darker. All right, we can use the different shades anyway, so. Okay, get it around the grass, around the basket a little bit. Um, I'm going to go into my yellow ochre here and mix that with some of my grass color Okay, we don't need all that many. We just want to show like that there is some grass here, that that's what that is. And we don't need to have a lot coming through there because you could overdo it. I mean, I, I don't like to put too much because by the time you put all that in there, then it looks a little goofy. So... Alright, that's good enough. Uh, let's see if we can get a couple little flowers in. 
I'm just going to use this number two because I kind of really like it. And I am going to put a few little flowers, just a uh, little, little daisy kind of things. Um, I'm going to use my white. Well, I'm going to use my white and blue, uh, kind of, and see what we can do with that. If I don't like it, I certainly can remove it. Um, let's see. I'm just tapping it in like that. Okay, there's one. Uh, let's put one over here. I'm just tapping them in, kind of. Um, nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. Uh, I can put one right here. These are just little teeny flowers. And they have little brown bottoms, brownish green. So I'm going to use my ombre and my green. I'm going to mix that. Just little brown bottoms here. Little brownish green bottoms and just little things that come down. Okay, cute. So I think that we're finished with our little rabbit. Um, I don't think he needs anything else. He really is so adorable. I love this little bucket baby. And I am going to sign it. Uh, I'm going to get some of my red. And I'm just going to put my initials, red and white, just right in the corner over here. we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little painting. Uh, I know I enjoyed doing it. It was so much fun. Um, it just uh, really turned out cute, and I think for the holiday, for Easter and Passover, uh, I think this would make a nice addition. So, hopefully you enjoyed it, and until next time, bye. Oh, give me those thumbs up, and subscribe, and like, and hit that little bell. And uh, when you, if you want the tracing, I will have this on my uh, Patreon site. And for $1 a month, you can um, acquire all the tracings. And I would appreciate your support. Thanks again. Talk to you soon. Bye. I think I'm going to put some of those uh, strokes actually in through here as well. Because that kind of right in through here. Ooh. Kind of soften some of these darker ones up. And I'm going to go into my umber. And there's some dark spaces like in some of these areas too. So I'm going to get some dark spots here. Where some of these hairs are coming out. Just rub them in. Then we can go into the white and add a new layer just of the light white. 
Just kind of going over some of those. There's a lot of them here. Okay. All right, so I'm not real happy with the way this is looking here. So I'm going to go into my, um, let's see here. I'm going to go in and mix a little bit of my white and my umber. See if I can get a better shade here because it just doesn't blend too well. There we go. Maybe this is better. There we go, that's better. Yeah, I like that better. Kind of just softened that up a little bit. Okay, all right, so let's work on our basket. We are going to use some yellow ochre. And some umber. And I'm going to use that number two because I really like the way that was working out for me. So, going into my ochre. And there are, I guess I should put it this way so I can see it better. Um, lots of really neat looking... kinds of different weaves here. So I'm going to get some of those in. Going to go into my umber. darker Here, I want to get something like a little bit lighter, and I think I'm going to use my raw sienna. That might be a good color to use in this. Just kind of getting some of these different shades of basket here and the weave and how it's coming around here. This will probably be the hardest part right here doing the basket. I 
going to carry it all through. And we're going to highlight some of this with some light. So I'm going to go into my, um, guess what, tighten both. And just throw a few little highlights here. This brush is fantastic for getting highlights and just kind of like doing what you need to do. Because it's not, it's a thicker brush. Just giving me enough highlight that I need for this. Add a little white to this, just a tad, giving it a little bit more. All right, so there's our basket. So let's see now. All right, so we got our little basket. Now we want to fill in these eggs a little bit better. So I'm going to go into my blue. That was my um, ultramarine. And kind of just like put a line here. And it, it just came down like that. And then it blended in, sort of. So I'm going to need my number... Six. I'm going to use my number six for that and just grab a little water and kind of just blend that down. Blend it in there. Just trying to give it that little bit of curve. And then this top is very light, very, very light. So let's get that blended in. very very light right in here kind of darkish through there so I'm going to get some more of that blue just kind of give it a little bit more of that dark a little ochre to that just a tad of ochre I can see that there's a little bit of, of a cast here so I'm gonna pull that in okay and possibly this here kind of it's a little darker And believe it or not, there is a cast from this pink one. <clears throat> so I'm going to put a little pink in there with some white. Kind of brighten this one up a little bit. There's that pink cast right here. It's a pinkish cast right in there from this, which didn't turn out too pink, did it? Just a 
little pink here. Let's see if we can get that a little bit better. And this is pretty bright up on the top here, so this comes around like that, like so. And there's Sally. Sally came to join, huh? Did you come to join me, Sally? Hmm? You being bad? You being a bad girl? Underneath here, it's very dark. So I am going to make a brown gray, uh, red. Because we're getting the cast from both pieces here. So it is kind of dark in through here. And actually, it should be a little darker in here also because this is part of that egg. Okay, let me get my little number two here. <clears throat> Get that a little redder. I don't know if I can just kind of do that. And this is going to be like that. Some white. And I still want to make my uh, egg a little lighter. That's just a cast. So we're going to blend that in. And then we're going to get that egg a lot bluer than it is. I might actually go into a cobalt blue for this. Um, 